I'm Dan Hort at Nippert Stadium. Happy to be joined by Mikhail McKay, getting ready for a big senior season with the UC Bearcats. Speaking of big, you are noticeably bigger this year. How did you get that way? Uh, basically, just um, committing myself, you know, to eating right and uh, lifting weights, you know, the whole summer, and it's really worked out for me. You have always had some great moments in your two years with the UC Bearcats. I would think now as a senior, maybe consistency is the thing that, I don't know, I don't want to speak for you, but but where you can take your game this year? Oh, yes, sir. That's, uh, that's direct. Uh, I'm basically pushing for consistency, you know, no balls on the ground. There have been a lot of NFL scouts at Bearcat training camp at uh, Camp Higher Ground in recent weeks, and I know a lot of those guys have been looking at you. Is that something that goes through the back of your mind as, as you see those NFL uh, golf shirts walking around the sideline? Well, I think it's very cool, you know, just to have a lot of guys out. And, uh, you know, we appreciate it a lot. But, you know, it's all about the team, and It's all about getting better. So while they see us get better, you know, we appreciate them for coming. And that's really as far as we take it. How do you feel about the passing game so far in training camp? Oh, I feel like it's grown uh, tremendously. Uh, Gunner's doing a very good job. Our coaches are doing a very good job. And we're just trying to get better, you know. And I, I feel like the fans will be very impressed when the season comes. I have joked that uh, the wide receiving core is Noah's Ark because you've got two of everything. Yes. How much do you guys motivate each other? Uh, we motivate each other uh, a lot. You know, we talk to each other every day. And, you know, group messages is basically how we motivate each other. You know, we get a lot of laughs out of each other. And, you know, it's very cool just to be closer with those guys. Mikhail, I've read that in the past you have traveled to Bengals practices to study A.J. Green. Is that the case? And, and what have you learned from watching him? Oh, that's definitely true. I just wanted to see how, uh, how he works. You know, he has a tremendous motor, man. And, uh, you know, I kind of model myself after him. I don't want to say uh, he's, he's a role model for me, but, uh, you know, I love his game, you know, the way he competes and the way he runs his routes. Uh, so when I go up there and I just look at him, you know, I pay close attention to him and, you know, uh, just try to take as much as I can. You've got a couple of inches on him, though. Yeah, uh, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> He's 6'4", you're 6'6". At least I think uh, that's where you're listed these days. And before you played football at the college level, you were a great basketball player. How close were you to playing college hoops? I was very close. You know, it was a tough decision. Uh, I was the last person to sign my scholarship uh, to the University of Arkansas. So uh, I was borderline, you know, and um, I'm very happy that I chose football because it's working out very great for me. We're sitting here at Nippert Stadium. 15 days before the start of the regular season. The stadium looks great. How excited are you to uh, play a game at the NIP? Oh, this is so cool. You know, I played in the NIP my sophomore year, and uh, I didn't get to play in it my uh, junior year last year. And just to come back and see all the work that everyone done and, you know, all the uh, money that's been spent, man, I'm, I'm really ready to get it going. You alluded to the fact that you started your career at Arkansas for one year before transferring to Cincinnati. How has everything worked out for you? I feel like everything has worked out, you know, tremendously. And uh, I feel like it was God's plan, you know, that for me to come here. I never thought I would be here. And I'm just so happy with the coaches and the players, and I'm just ready to start it up. All right, he's number two, not number three. Don't confuse him for Johnny Holton, even though they're both tall and fast and good receivers. <laughs> uh, this guy is number two, Mikhail McKay. Thanks for the time. Oh, thank you. All right, I'm Dan Horde. Thanks for checking out this training camp report here on Bearcats TV.